So you see, uh, in this problem, we have to find uh, reactions and the spots. You see, we have two spots. Uh, one is at point A and the uh, other is at point B. You see, at point B, two reaction forces basically act because it is a pin joint. And you see, at point A, we have only one reaction force because it is a roller joint. You see, uh, we can draw this triangle like this because you see that uh, at a roller force is basically acts towards the roller. So you see, I have just filled out uh, uh, this triangle like this. And uh, you see, uh, this 400 newton meter force, newton one meter force, is acting throughout on the rock. So you see, we can say that, or we can assume that this force is acting at the center of the rock. So, as uh, you see in this free body diagram, as these forces make a triangle, so we can say this is one over two. So you see that the triangle basically base multiply uh, height. So you see this is the base, which is six meters. And you see this is the forehead, which is the height of this triangle. So uh, let's find the reaction force that is acting at the point A. You see, for this, we can apply moment at point B. You see, we get this 1 over 2 multiplied 400 multiplied 6 newton force, which has a perpendicular of 3 meters from point B. And you see, we have this negative uh, reaction force A. And you see, we can take that this force is acting in a vertical direction. So you can say that we use the sine compass, which is perpendicular over hypotenuse, which is 4 over 5. And you see it has a perpendicular distance of 6 meters. So you see this, uh, basically this reaction force A, uh, or A X, uh, as well as in the horizontal, as well as in the vertical direction. But here we can only use the force that is acting in the vertical direction. So when we saw this, we can get a reaction force that is acting at point A, which is 750 newtons. So through this, we can find a reaction force that is acting at point B. You see, when we apply the movement at point A, so we can find a reaction force that is acting in the vertical direction. So you see, we have this a uh, vertical force with a perpendicular distance of 6 meters and uh, this force with a perpendicular distance of 3 meters. I see this negative because it is acting downward. So we get a reaction force at point B which is acting in the vertical upward direction which is 600 meter. And if we apply the equilibrium conditions uh, that all the forces in the x direction, so we get, you see, we get 750 which is the reaction force at point A, and it's horizontal uh, the force. See that the force that is acting in the horizontal direction, which is the three over five, before you see it is the force component, which is about base over high force. Negative, we have the force at point B in the X, opposite X direction, so it is negative. So we get the reaction force acting at point B in the horizontal, uh, you see that in the negative horizontal direction, uh, which is 450 newtons.